Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, and go ahead and join the Discord if you would like that. Here we are to finish off this series, or this um, part of the series. We're going to finish this game. And what we did in the last video, hopefully you watched the last video, uh, we printed out some stuff, we set up some variables, uh, we made the game loop, and we checked if the user's guess was zero we quit the game now i'm gonna keep that to minus one here because minus one is not a valid guess and if the user inputs minus one obviously it's deliberate and it will be quit the game we'll do more stuff in here as we go along uh, i'm gonna add a include here using this is also a good thing to show off this is where we include different libraries either standard ones or stuff that people have created for us and here if you do a dot you'll see a lot of stuff here and you'll see a bunch a bunch of cool things that we can include threading text security runtime all that stuff I just need to find collections is the one I want and once you do that you'll get a bunch of stuff that you can use including the array list type and that's gonna be an array list all um, number of guesses like that equals a new array list object empty one the way C sharp works this is also a good thing to to note the reason we're doing new here uh, if you're used to Java you won't have a problem if you're used to C++ this is gonna be kind of weird but this works by a garbage collector always running in the background so when we do new we don't need to delete anything we don't ever need to delete anything ex uh, explicitly because it takes care of that and everything we're working with is pretty much uh is pretty much references at least all the objects here all the class objects are always references if you have booleans and integers standard types they're not going to be references in that sense but if you do want to use them as such, it will be possible. We don't use pointers here in C Sharp. You can, but then you have to kind of override some stuff. But usually we just use these references. That's why we write new here. And if you just do array list number glass semicolon, that's not going to work. That's just going to be a reference. So you need to do the new here each time. And it's a really good way. I really like that, uh, that way of coding. Now we have our array list, and this is going to keep track of all our number of guesses throughout all our gameplays, everything. And in the next mini series, where we recreate this game with classes, we're going to use this and save that in text files and then load it in as a high score list. So you can think of this as a high score list, basically. Uh, but in our case, in this mini series, it's just going to run for one while the game is running. That's going to be reset. Once that's done, let's say that, let's do all the regular stuff here so this is going to be to exit exit the game um, and then we're going to do another if statement if user guess equals is exactly equal to guess number all right this is going to be our win condition okay we're going to do an else if user guess is less than guess number because we need to guide the user into finding the correct number all right otherwise it's going to be kind of hard to win the game and this is going to be our greater than but there is no other you know um, operator that we can use that's why i'm just doing else here because this is the only thing left is the greater than part if it is equal to let us tell the user that they won uh, your guess is correct okay and then we're gonna do a new line and this is what I love about C plus or Visual Studio 2019 I'm doing stuff and is automatically understanding what I want to do that's why I love this application this IDE so it automatically added a plus here for me for another line here now we could have done it in a long line but we don't want to do that, right? We want to make it nice, and I don't want to write console write several several times. So I'm going to do it in one console write, and I'm going to do it in write line here. Um, so it's just a way of making it look nice. So don't freak out here. Uh, your guess is correct. Would you like to play a game? 
All right, and then we're gonna do a yes or a no. And here, it's gonna ask for input. And then I'm gonna do a console dot write. Uh, actually, we can, you know what? I'm just control X that part, right? And I'm gonna remove that new line. Sorry about that, I should have thought of this. I'm just gonna do right. Uh, and I'm gonna add this here. And I'm just gonna say play again. It looks a little cleaner. Play again. Yes, no. Like that. And then we're gonna do an input here. All right, and we're gonna do a little input here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a char. Um, play again. Um, yeah, sure. We'll just do that. And it won't, it will be a yes here, a y. Okay, if play again equals no, then we'll do end game equals true. And then we'll print out, or we'll just do end game equals true. And here we're gonna print out all the other stuff. Thanks for playing. Print out all. Uh, print out high score list. Okay, that's what we're gonna do down here. We'll get to that later. Anyway, if you press play again, um, then yeah, nothing's gonna happen. Well, basically, what I'm gonna do here instead of y, I'm gonna do a console dot uh, read like that boom and it's gonna get a character for me all right let's see what it's saying uh it's an integer okay so we need to do a uh, let's see convert to char and we're just gonna do that boom so it's gonna get me a character this is gonna be a character that's reading but it's gonna be formatted in a integer format so the character for a, the integer for a is going to be like 29 or something. So we're going to get that number and it's going to convert it to a character and put it in here. And then we can read that. Um, good, good. So if you press yes, obviously any, any other key, but no is going to keep playing the game, but still we want to add a character that the user can put in again here. When you're putting in something that isn't correct, like if I pr press L, K, or, or 1, 2, 3, or whatever, it's going to kind of crash. So you want to make sure you input the correct type. Once that's done, very good. Let's copy one of these console write lines, put it in here, and we're going to say uh, too low. Try again. Okay. And the other one is going to be too high. Try again. Too high. Try again. Boom. Very nice, very nice. Down here, we're gonna make a little for loop. Int i equals zero. I less than all number of guesses dot count. Okay, count is what keeps track of how big the array is. You don't need, it's not a function. So while we're gonna go through the whole all number of guesses, the reason I'm doing this and not a for each loop, which we also will talk about later, is because I want the i. I want this to be able to print out the number I'm on and I'll show you what I mean right now plus plus I and in here I'm gonna print out all my stuff so right line and this is a way to show you how to combine integers and text into a single input so I'm gonna say I plus a little colon like that okay plus all number of guesses at position I so this is how you access a certain uh, element in the array by telling the array where you want to get what position you want to get the number so you can think of the array list as a bunch of boxes like this just think of your your attic or something bunch of boxes but very ordered right and the first one the position number is zero and it goes on from there zero one two three four five six and in here, we might have a number 80, 78, 54. You know, they're just boxes containing one integer each. Okay. Pretty much like that. And the array list, it can keep track of just about any type. So when you're creating an array list, it's going to probably start at a certain size. And when you add more stuff, it's going to automatically grow and put your information in there. So it's like a, it's like a empty hole 
almost kind of or you or just like a big attic and you just add boxes to it and put information in there as you're going along so we're going to put information in this there isn't any information yet but now let's add something to this let's add so whenever we complete the game whenever we get a correct answer here then i'm going to add something to my all number of guesses and i'm going to add number of guesses to it and we don't have that variable just yet we're going to create that in here int number of guesses equals zero and anytime we do get a guess here i'm going to do plus plus number of guesses and plus plus i don't know if i mentioned that but it's a quick way of adding one to your variable it's the same as number of guesses equals number of guesses plus one so whatever it was before plus one and we'll assign that in here that's good all right and you can do plus plus after and before and that's a little more complicated we'll get in get into that later when we have to use it but you can use this for now you don't have to worry about all that um good 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 so number of guesses plus plus and i'm just going to do number of guesses in here whatever the number of guesses were i'll just put that in there and very nice very nice um good 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 i think that is what we want to do anytime we win we'll add that to the high score list if we quit the game it'll just print out whatever was there from before sounds good sounds good let's try to run this and see what we get because we're reaching the end of the video hopefully it's going to work properly let's see okay there we go make a guess so i'll say 34 too low 77 too high 56 too low 70 no 66 too high uh, 64 too high 62 61 too low 60 63 62 61 60 uh 59 god damn what is it 53 oh god what did I do? Oh, it crashed since I pressed that. Well, sorry about that. Okay, let's let's do a little cheat here. Let's let's do a little cheat. So we'll do a guess number. I'll do console right line. I'll just print it out just to cheat. And I'll say cheat. Cheat. I should have done this before. Guess number. This is a good way to debug it. There we go. Let's run this. Now we we'll, should be able to see. Okay, so cheat is 79. So if I press 79, it's gonna say guess is correct. Play again. I press no. End of game. Thanks for playing. I had one number of guests for my first playthrough and it quit the game for me. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. Let's try the other stuff. So to continue playing. Uh, so I'll just say 44, blah, blah, blah. Let's do 22. It's going to say too low. And then I'll do 30. Uh, no, cheat. What? Oh, wait. It's, it's creating a new number each time. Sorry about that. You know, this should be right here okay you need another while loop right here while user guess is not equal to um guess number then we're gonna do sorry that was kind of dumb of me i should have remembered that uh and we're just gonna go all the way down to where that is and create another one good there you go there you go nice now we'll have one guess number we'll get to cheat number of guesses all that stuff and it will run it for us and when we end the game or when we reset the game then it's going to go back up uh, so let's run this let's try this now cheat 36 bop 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 and then 36 it's gonna say yes continue playing okay so the issue was i just press read line here because i think you need to clear the console input stuff i don't really know 100 percent how to do that right now so we're just gonna leave that there um and that's great all right that's great what i'm gonna do as we play again um down here under this one i'm just gonna follow this line here right here i'm gonna do a console dot clear and that's gonna clear the old window for me so we don't have to um clear the view so we don't have to see all that old crap uh, again now let's run this one last time 
and hopefully we should have a good thing. So, bop, 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 and then too low. 13 is correct. Yes. I want to play again. Okay, cheat 7. Let's do 7. Yes, and then a few of these, and then 51, and then no. Then we'll see. Okay, so I have five, 5 guesses, 1 guess, 4 guess. End of game. Thanks for playing. Boom. We're good, guys and girls. There you go. Whew. Sorry for those errors. I should have thought of that before. <laughs> but here you go. Here's the code. Pause the video. Copy the code. Check it out. Play around with this. Make sure to just, just do your own way. Create some more stuff to it. Some more text here. Add some more things. You can do console.color and play around with that. We can play around with that later as well together. Uh, but pretty much that's it, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you like this. Remember, the code is on GitHub. Where it's going to be. And so you should be able to find that there. Uh, otherwise, just pause the video and copy it, like I said. Good luck. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And join the Discord if you want. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.